After several weeks of road tripping across the U.S. to visit family, we are both back in Satori in Lupron. Satori has been hanging on this morning for months now, and it's time to stretch her legs. But first, she needs her bottom cleaned. This is uh, Domingo. He's gonna go clean the bottom of the boat. Take some pictures down there for us. Yeah. We're just talking about his uh, compressor rig. And he has a, a beer keg there as the compressor tank. It's pretty sweet. Domingo is our go-to guy here in Lupron. He's the ultimate multitasker. Watch here as he cleans our bottom and catches his lunch at the same time. Impressive. Hey guys, I just want to take a minute here and tell you about something we've been using on the boat here for a while. It's uh, this cove commuter Bluetooth speaker. Now this little speaker, even though it's small, it packs a big punch and a lot of sound. And that's because it has this subwoofer built right in, yeah. So you can switch from normal mode to base mode when you want a little extra. It's got over six hours of battery life and a 30 foot Bluetooth range. So if I leave this thing in the cockpit, I can walk anywhere in the boat, on the bow or in the back, and uh, with my phone in my pocket, I don't get any interruption with the music. It also has a, a built-in microphone, so you can use this thing as a speakerphone. So if somebody calls you and you're jamming out, no worries. It's perfect for the boat when we're chilling on the bow. I just bring the speaker right up there. We also connect it to our laptop Bluetooth for when we're editing videos or watching movies. And when I'm working on the boat, it's splash proof, so I don't have to worry about it getting a little bit wet. So it retails for 199 bucks. But right now, if you use the discount code Sailing Satori, you can get it for 65% off. So there's a link in the description of the video. Go click on that link and check it out. What's your strategy today? Um, well, I'm gonna sit right here and hopefully nobody tells me to do anything. <laughs> because I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of a breeze right here, man. We're gonna be fine. Lupron is one of those harbors where a boat can come in and potentially never leave. Satori is not one of those boats. This is our chance to kick the dirt off her girl, stir up the tanks, and keep her ready for the upcoming season. 
On this day, we have a number of boats participating in an unofficial Lupron regatta. Only seven miles east is a beautiful and protected bay called Cambiasso. It's a perfect day sail to hop off the boat, have a few beers, and then enjoy a downwind sail back to Lupron before sunset. There were some issues getting dispatchos for the day's sail. You can see here a member of the Dominican Navy borrowed a fishing boat to come out and stop some of the boats. You know, we just, it's just impossible. It's a, we, went, we went up there twice. He kept saying he'd be there in the afternoon, then he'd be there later and later. And then, and then finally at 6 o'clock he still wasn't there. I hope he's out of gas because now he's so he he said, uh, get come, uh, he said, come get your dispatcho okay. tomorrow morning at 7.30. And we can't just do that. We can't just... You know, when you're taking a boat out on the, in this, in this yeah, kind of conditions, you've got a lot of work to do. Ah, uh, what's sailing with that politics? That's the first time. Hey, get went for sailing on Saturday, and I went up to get a despacho, and the commandant hey, there wasn't a, there. You got a and, movie in front of you. Yeah, and El Secundo couldn't find a blank, and he's on the phone with the commandant, they're looking for a blank, and they don't, I see it, and they didn't, and, and long story short, long story short, they just said, ah, just go, they just told me to go with that in this box. It's a formality that they're required to do. ...of uh, the movements in the bay, however, he's not the commandant. The commandant is the commandant. More? Always has. A little bit more. Good. Good. Excellent. Now let the main out just a little bit. Let's try let the main, Just so the boom is perfectly centerline. They yeah. probably don't even have yeah. a radio. That's why. Yeah. Comandancia de Luparón. Un aviso. Son tres veleros saliendo para cambiazo por el día. Regresamos a la noche. Pase bien día. Uh, well, I think we're we're in the clear. Uh, hey, listen, we can always beg forgiveness when we get back, you know. Because now we're waiting for White Pearl. No, we're gonna wait for White Pearl. White Pearl. Should this be is better. not a competitive event officially, but bragging rights do apply if you are first to arrive. I can eat the giant. Yay! Yay! Love the hat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go.
After dropping the hook in Cambiaso Bay, we hung out and enjoyed a light lunch prepared by the best galley wench in the biz. I spill guacamole on Arthur. <laughs> 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 You wanna eat it? Arthur! You wanna eat it? <laughs> Can you have a little bit of coffee? He won't eat it. Come on. And then we played around on the improvised halyard swing. A must do. Here in the DR, there's never a dull moment. This guy decided to take a drive on the beach with his pickup truck. Obviously, a poor decision. It's about a two hour sail tacking into the wind to get here but only a 45 minute downwind run back to Lupron. Here on the north coast of the DR, the wind picks up every afternoon, even when it's calm. You can see here that the seas pick up late in the day. You don't want to be beating east in these conditions. As we were approaching Lupron, we fired up the engines and motored into the channel. As we rounded the corner into the harbor, Satori's engines begin to throttle down, way down, all on her own. With the throttle control fully engaged, she was struggling to run, until she wasn't. Luckily, Lupron Harbor is very well protected. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the helm. I'm standing at the helm, turning the wheel, but nothing's happening. <laughs> 0.7 knots. Have we stopped yet? Uh, at the moment, I'm literally just running the wheel back and forth, but we're stopped. We've already stopped. Uh, 0.7 knots. We're not doing anything. We're not going to hit anything. That's working now. That's good. Okay. Our assistance is working. All right, we're getting in now. 
I was able to drop the dinghy off the davits and hip tire to Satori. This allowed us to use the outboard motor to move her forward while steering at the helm. It was an uneventful emergency, but now we have to figure out what went wrong. Perhaps stirring up those tanks wasn't such a good idea. Hmm. That's enough, yeah. Straighten out. Straighten out. Okay, where's the black buoy then? In front of your boat. The black fender is what you're aiming for. Black fender. Look it's, it yeah, it's right in front of your boat. Steven, we got enough speed? Uh, yeah, slower the better. Yeah, we still got 0.7, we're good. Wicked awesome. I'm gonna disconnect and go to the mooring. Try to feel it.